Hi, it's Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Thank you for watching my previous uh, video and for sending in your inspiring stories. Um, one I'd like to, to read out for you is from Joe uh, from Bradford in Pennsylvania. Uh, a nice, uh, it's a short story but very inspiring I think. Uh, so he said, it goes, Julian, thank you. At the age of 61, in 2016, as a beginner, I took a series of modern lessons from a local pro and I was scoring around 106 for the first few months out. I was disappointed and sore. Then I lost my swing altogether. I went to YouTube and literally typed in easy swing in golf. No kidding. I bought Brian's book and kept going with Brian's video, Shan's videos and my videos. In two years of following your instruction, I now play better than bogey golf, shoot in the 80s. No more soreness or pain. Golf is now a joy. I'm completely hooked. My sincere thanks again, Joe Fr Frisana from Bradford in Pennsylvania. So I just thought that was a lovely story to share. Um, so today's video is about improving your ball striking. And I've got a few tips um, that are going to help, uh, but one of the tips is you've probably never done this before. Uh, I know a lot of professional golfers would definitely do this, and I've certainly done a lot of it, but you tend not to see amateurs do this. Um, so I'm going to show you how that works. What I'm going to do is start to hit some golf balls out of a divot. Um, what what golfers generally do, especially when they go to the practice ground, uh, normally let's say it's a driving range, you'd be hitting off a mat. Uh, mats can be a little bit, um, they, they can be helpful and they don't always tell the truth. I feel that the grass or the ground definitely tells us the truth, but actually when was the last time you practiced out of a divot? Um, I'm going to guess probably never. Um, but it's a really fabulous thing to do because it heightens your awareness and really can improve your ball striking. So rather than teeing the ball up and putting it in a perfect lie every time, let's start to hit a few shots out of a divot. So I'm going to demonstrate this just now. So this would be the perfect lie, so that's what everybody tends to do. And and sit it up. I know at the moment here in the UK the ground's really hard so this is really quite hard at the moment so this is what most golfers would do stick it on that perfect lie but I'm just going to drag this into the divot let's put it in there so hopefully you can see how that's settled down uh, and I'm going to strike it for you from here so again really really important to remain relaxed yeah sometimes when we're in these bad lies we, we automatically tighten up uh, and we'll start to, to thin them. So really remain relaxed and we're looking for this pure strike. Let's do that again. Let's stick it in the same divot. There you go. So I don't know if you can hear that. It's making a, a nice clicking noise. Let's stick it back in there again. That's coming out lovely. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll show you from sideways on so you might be able to pick up a bit more of the ball flight. absolutely fizzed out of that lie. Let's stick it back in there. There you go, it's just dropped straight in the divot again. There's a little bit of resistance there as I hit the front of that divot. Let me just play one more. Just so you can see I'm not uh, joking. There we go, just dropped it straight back in the same divot. Not a lot of the golf ball showing there. so strike has to be perfect so again lovely and relaxed keep it relaxed very smooth the other thing this does when you get good at this your confidence starts to improve so suddenly you get a nice lie 
I sat up and all of a sudden this shot does not look and feel very difficult. So my little tip is practice hitting shots out of a divot to improve your ball striking skills. And the second thing that's most important to find the bottom of that golf ball when it's in a bad lie, you must remain re relaxed. Very common to see tension in the grip when we're in this lie because we don't, we don't really want to muck it up. But very commonly, we see tension in these shoulders. So a lot of people say, well, my, my, arm, my grip's relaxed, my arms are relaxed, but you see tension in the shoulders. People hold this all the time. I see this all the time, almost on a daily basis. Let's get those arms to relax, which means your, your arms are gonna be longer, the club's gonna be longer, you'll find it much, much easier to find the bottom of the golf ball. Don't lock up when you're in this situation. Uh, seriously, practice this shot. Don't, don't be afraid of it. Uh, you don't have to hit low, so we're not trying to, uh, we don't want you to hurt your wrists or anything, anything like that, but it really will refine your ball striking skills. Well worth practicing. Uh, I hope you find this video helpful. Uh, please send in, in your inspiring stories and I'll read, I'll read the best ones out in the next one. Um, if you like what we're doing, so please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and give us a thumbs up uh, if you're finding this helpful. Thanks for watching. Bye.